गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल ज्ञान मंजरी मॉडर्न स्कूल सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वेर वी हैव रीच्ड वी हैव रीच्ड ओवर हियर ऑन द पेज नंबर 158 इन द लेसन नंबर 11 व्हिच वाज समथिंग रिमेनिंग हाफ ऑफ इट वाज रिमेनिंग आई थिंक हियर वी हैव रीच्ड अप टू द मेजरिंग लाइन सेगमेंट्स so how we can measure the line segments okay students over here you can see what is line segment first of all i am just telling you then uh, first of all we will finish this and we will just move towards the uh, paper pattern i will just explain what what will be there in the paper pattern okay students so here first is comparison of line segments so how that is compared so we all know that two lines if are there this is a line segment and if i say this then this one is bigger than this one this is smaller than this one we can compare this line segment yes we can compare this line segment okay here i haven't write the centimeters then we can know that if i tell this is 7 cm and this is 5 cm then we can say this 7 cm line segment is big, bigger than 5 cm line segment then comes comparison by observation so how can we uh, here we are just uh, they are they are just uh, saying that by observation we can see over here and we can say which one is bigger yes this one is bigger by the observation which line is bigger we can say and which one is smaller we can say yes that is it and comparison by divider so uh, in your compass there is a divider so first of all just divider put out, uh, put it both point over here and then after put it here then if it is line goes above that divider then it is bigger line and this is smaller line okay then come coming to comparison by tracing so what is it by tracing means see here i am reading that we can also compare two line segments say ab and cd by tracing one of them and overlapping the traced line on the other with one end point convincing we can easily make out which line is longer which is shorter or whether they are both equal or not in figure a line ab line segment ab is placed on cd with the end point ca c and a contient contiguing uh, since the other two end points b and d do not concurrent we can say that a is not equal to cd ab is shorter than cd as the end point b of ab falls shorter of d the end point of cd you can see by observation also you can see ab and cd by tracing if we just uh, put over overlap both the line then we can see which one line is bigger here in the exercise 11 b what you have to do is see in question number 1 draw the line segment of the following measures means you in that you need a scale here it is written 5.3 cm then you have to draw a line in your book of do 5.3 cm okay students and 10.3 then you have to measure 10.3 cm and draw a line and that you also have seen in the previous classes and observe and state the which line segment in each pair is longer so in that here in the question number 2 what you have to see we have to observe which line segment is bigger or yes larger so here i can say line segment a is larger than b yes and in the b you can see b is larger than the a and in c b is larger than the c by observation we can tell that this is larger line segment or longer see here the ruler is divided into centimeters the state the uh, length of each of the line given line in segment so what you have to do you have to measure this a b and c from your uh, scale and you have to write centimeter over here okay students moving towards next draw segments equal to the difference of the measures of the given pair of segment that is see here which one is 
longer and which one is shorter you have to give the difference of that okay students and use using the line segment given in the figure draw a line segment equal to 2a minus 2b you have to draw 2a minus 2b you have to just overlap that okay students you have to just overlap this and you will get the answer and draw a line segment equal to a plus b then you have to draw a line uh, which is a centimeter plus b okay means first of all you have to measure a and then after you have to measure b okay then you will have to connect both the line then you will give the line segment a plus b then moving towards c draw a line segment equal to 3a minus 3c you have to draw 3a means three line segment uh, three times a line okay in one line only okay and you have to minus 3c then you have to just connect uh, first of all c the length of c and you have to just put a point like this which is given on the page number 11.2 and here there are some of the definitions types of points and lines see collinear and non collinear points so all the points are on the same lines okay 11.3 you can uh, this definitions is asked okay students so you have to learn all the uh, chapter number 11's definition see here the first is if there uh, if three or more points are on the same line we say that these points are collinear points means all three points are in the same line then we can say that is collinear points and then comes all points are not in the same line then points are non collinear if the points are in the same line then are collinear collinear and if not then non collinear intersecting line means if i draw two lines see here like this this is line 1 and this is line 2 then it intersect each other at point anything you can name that okay that is known as intersecting line see here i am reading the definition if two lines on the a plane meet each other at the point then they are called the intersecting lines okay in figure 11.15a you can see there are intersecting line is given over here and if three or more lines intersect at the same point then their lines are called known as concurrent lines if two or three or more lines means three or more lines just connect with each other at the same point then are known as concurrent lines okay students and comes perpendicular line what is perpendicular line the line is perpendicular when here they form a 90 degree angle okay line form a 90 degree angle then parallel lines what are parallel line see here this is parallel line this line this line if you measure from here these distance is same and if you will measure from here the distance must be same so they are known as the parallel lines see here if two or more lines on a plane do not meet each other however far they are extended they are called the parallel lines okay students they are known as the parallel lines here properties of incidence so here countless numbers of the lines can be drawn see here some of the properties are given the first is countless numbers of line can be drawn passing through one given point and second one for two distinct point a and b lying on the plane exactly one one line can be drawn through this two points the line passing through them also completely lies on the same plane okay 11.19 you can see more any of the numbers can be pla pa line pass from a single point okay for a two distinct point a and b on a plane exactly one line can be drawn through this okay from if two points are given from that only one line can be passed okay then see here exercise 11c in this figure state whether the lines given lines are parallel or squared here you can see which lines are there so ad and bc ad and bc okay these are parallel lines okay or and dc 
DC and GH they are also parallel lines okay DH here is DH and BF DH and BF so they are also parallel lines okay students and AB and BF they are screwed they are not parallel lines DC here is DC and EF they are also parallel lines and DH and GH they are not parallel lines they are screwed lines okay students you have to find the parallel lines have same distance at both the point and here how many lines are drawn in a figure A okay so here how many lines are uh, drawn in figure A here in the figure A how many lines are drawn you can see line M M N P R Q N Q R Q uh, sorry P R and uh, P Q Q R M Q Q N P R M N this many lines can be drawn so yes Samala wrote names of the line segment in figure A as follow so two of these names are incorrect which are they so first of all PQ QR PR QP then comes M PM so that is incorrect in question number C here I am writing on the board So here in question number 2 B first is PM line is incorrect and second one finding RQ RQ is there RP is there MQ is there and R no NR is not there a line is not formed so these are two incorrect lines then in the figure a where does do the lines pr and mn intersect pr and mn intersect at q point q and are the three points shown in figure b are collinears no they are non collinears because if the uh, if the uh, points are three in one line only then it is collinear if there are not in one line then are non collinear what do we call the set of uh, lines that intersect at the same point set of lines intersect at the same point they are known as which lines concurrent lines okay students they are known as concurrent lines. then measuring angles you have seen the protector okay students here in your exam also you need the protector okay in that what they are just telling us they will I can ask some of the questions that you have to draw a line sorry draw an angle measure angle that I can say that you can you have to draw some of the lines over here see here a protector is given over here here that is a center point that is a baseline and they, here is the inner scale and there is the outer scale when does the inner scale used inner scale is used when you are angling from the right hand side then it is from you can see in the inner side there is zero and external scale or outer scale is used from here okay students now if they are telling us to draw an angle of 35 degree then you have to first measure the 35 degree and put a point and then you have to draw a line see here what you have to do you first of all you have to put a point then after you have to draw a line straight line like this and give any point over here and then after 
uh, in exam it will be asked okay students they uh, in exam it will be asked that uh, draw a 60 degree angle then you have to first draw this line and uh, center point over here and this line should be connected to zero and then after you have to point where 60 degree comes so it comes over here then you have to put a point then draw a line okay students that will be asked so you will need a protector then comparison comparing angles so you can see comparing angles over here degree measuring of angles see here there are how many degrees of measuring the full this is 60 then here is 90 here is 120 then 180 270 and 360 the whole is 360 okay students comparing angles here we can see from this this angle is large and this angle is small by observing yes we can tell that moving further see here now the types of angles are there right angle means this is the right angle this is the right angle which have 90 degree angle the definition can be asked student you have to read that see here an angle of a magnitude exactly 90 degree is called a right angle then comes straight line that is 180 degree straight line is when if you put any of at a midpoint and it is 180 degree then it is a straight line then coming towards acute angle which is less than 90 degree less than 90 degree then it is acute angle see here an obtuse angle it is more than 90 degree more than 90 degree okay students this will be asked and zero angles so zero angles means as you have seen in the figure there are many of the angles zero angles it is over here if i draw a line and put a point over here only then that is a zero degree zero angle then complete angle what is complete angle it, it will rotate whole then it is complete angle you can see the figure then coming reflex action what is reflex action the definition can be asked students an angle of magnitude more than 180 degree and less than 360 degree is called reflex action more than 180 degree and less than 360 degree have the reflex action uh, angle sorry now here example number one is given the angles as obtuse angle and acute angle so you have to uh, first see which are obtuse and which are acute and which are right and which are reflex action so here the 80 degree means it is less than 90 then it is acute angle then comes 250 degree it is more than 180 degree so it is reflex action then 110 degree it is more than 90 degree so it is obtuse angle then coming 58 it is less than 90 degree so it is acute angle and 90 degree exit that is right angle triangle sorry right angle and then find the measure of the unknown angles x and y in degrees so the complete angle around a point is equal to 360 and what we have to find we have to find x and y so the it is divided into six parts this whole is divided into six parts so what will be there so there are six equal parts so one part will be 60 degree then angle y will be sorry angle x will be one part that is from 1 to 2 then it is 60 degree and angle y is of two parts here see you can see 3 4 and 5 two parts so 60 plus 60 that is 120 okay students moving towards next here using a figure a classify the following angles as obtuse acute or right angle also write their measures okay you have to just see this and you have to tell that which measures are their obtuse angle right angle and some of the measures of it if a figure a count the number of angles that have the following measures so 
the you have to find out which which uh, angles are there in this figure okay students then specify whether question number 3 specify whether are acute angle obtuse angle and straight line or reflex action you have to find out which is uh, uh, obtuse angle acute angle right angle and a straight line or reflex action okay students and here in the all the exercise you have to do that only and here comes curves what are curves students see curves of this time if i say tell that this is a curve and there are two types of curve simple curve open and closed this is closed because both the uh, starting point and the end point coming together and it is closed curve and if there is open then it will be like this this is open curve okay students and then coming interior and exterior of closed figures what is it so there are some points given interior of the curve a is interior of the curve b exterior of the curve and c that is boundary on the curve so the interior of curve together with its boundary is called region a lies in the interior of the curve b is its boundary and c is its exterior okay here the figure which is given a is the interior of the curve b is the boundary of the curve and c is the exterior of the curve and here what you have to do observe the figure carefully and then answer the following question so which of this figure are open open figures figure number 2 figure number 4 and figure number 5 are open figures then which of these figures are closed figures so closed figures is first third on which of this figure are simple curves so simple curves you can see like this these are known as simple curves so that is one is the simple curve then which of these figures are simple closed figure that is one only then three one and three both one and three both then coming towards which figure have curvilinear boundaries so what is it curvilinear boundary means this like structure figure with curvilinear boundary that is figure number 3 okay which figure have a linear boundary so linear boundary that is figure number 1 okay here we have completed the chapter and now we will move towards the paper pattern okay what will be asked and what will be not asked okay students we will move faster so here in your paper paper pattern please take out the paper patterns okay students which is given to you okay this type of paper pattern is given to you okay students please take it out now in the question number 1 fb is given so fb how questions can be asked okay students in fb in fb it can be asked that what is the divisibility test you it can be asked that a number is given and you have to tell that what is is number is divisible by which number okay and another hcf and lcm in the figure can be asked that what is the hcf and or the lcm of this this okay then uh, you also can be asked the, the convert this one kilo liter is given to dash many liters then you have to tell that it is 1000 liter this can be asked and see here i am writing that on the board only in question number 1 question number 1 that is fill in the blanks in that what what can be asked divisible divisible by another can be asked that is hcf and lcm and conversion 
of units that i have given you an example that 1 kiloliter is equal to how much liter that can be asked and question number 2 in that what can be asked let us see that students question number 2 that is do as directed of 1 1 march so let us see that so in the question number 2 what can be asked question number 2 place value place value a number is given and you will have to tell that which place value is there okay then you have to put a sign greater than less than or equal to and then it can be asked of the conversion of indian system and international it can be asked how many lakhs is equal to 1 million then you have to tell that 10 lakhs is equal to 1 million this type of the question will be asked over here and also expanded form sorry before that it will be there numbers in words in a number is given and that you have to write in the words that will be asked and then another it can be asked that is expanded form expanded form it can be asked and another with multiples can be asked you you can tell that it will be given that multi multiple between any of these number of this multiples can be asked then another what will be asked that is roman numbers in question number 2 only roman numbers roman numbers okay another that is divisible by divisible by another uh find out prime numbers prime numbers which uh, many of the numbers are given and uh, you have to find out which are the prime numbers then another will be asked that is estimation sum of estimate sum okay students this will be asked in question number 2 this many topics okay now moving towards question number 3 so what will be asked in question number 3 let us see that students so in the question number 3 simplification will be asked simplification okay simplification will be asked so i am telling you which which sum will there out of uh, four you have given out of that three will come but i will tell you students so 
in simplification students i am giving you some of the important sums which can be asked so first is 15 plus 9 divided by 3 minus 5 into 3 minus 5 minus 3 okay this type of the sum can be asked i am giving you some of the idea student that this kind of the sum can be asked so you have to learn from this only which i am just giving you okay students and another how can be asked that is fifth one fifth one wait students let me change the page Okay, from this only it can be asked. Okay, so from this four, okay, you have to do any three. Okay, then moving towards question number four A. Question number four A. So question number 4a that is it will be uh, HCF and B also it will be sorry in A there are two sums both are of HCF and in question 2 4b that is LCM okay students so in question 4 HCF and question 4b LCM okay students and from that you have to do any of your five HCF and LCM you know there is a method is coming and question five that is do as directed in that also what you have to do is uh, numbers are given and you have to arrange that in ascending order And another will be um, uh, which is temp uh, which is temperature which temperature is lowest or lower. Another can be asked that is uh, representation on number line number line another addition add the following okay and then this uh, simplification will be asked of addition and subtraction simplify addition and subtraction okay this can be asked and in word problems okay students in word problems i am just telling you question number six Question number six.
that is word problems in that what can be asked see here i am just reading some of the questions which are there on monday the number of spectator of for the two football matches were 36731389539 on tuesday the numbers of spectators you have to find a football match and you have to find uh, the day which is more okay you have to find a spectator which is more that kind of sum and uh, lali wants to buy equal numbers of oranges apples and that will be lcm like and another hcf can be asked in that hcf and lcm that type of both sum okay students and another a ribbon a ribbon like it will be asked an abhijit span that can also be asked then coming solve the following so in this solve the following what will be asked let us see that in question number 6 i have told you question number 7 word problems over here word problems so in question number 7 addition subtraction add subtract add subtract and yes that is only there addition and subtraction is there in that you have to just change some of the signs and you have to add and subtract it okay and then comes do as directed question number a in that you have to classify the following lines and angles uh, segment ray given okay that will be from chapter number 11 do as directed do as directed question number 8 question number 8 do as directed from that first will be classify as line lines segment and ray you have to find out that which one is line which one is line segment and which one is ray and second can be asked as you have to draw using protector angles okay protector the angles i am giving you some of the examples from that only it will be asked that is 130 b 60 c 90 d 120 and e 125 f that is 50 so from this only any of the three will be asked okay students now moving further define in the definition it will be okay students we have just reached to the question number 9 so from that there is definition define the term so in that it will be asked from the chapter number 11 which which definition will be there i am just giving you hint of it okay students so which which definition can be asked i am just writing on the board so over here in the question number 9 the last question question number 9 that is definition i am giving you some of the definition that is first is uh, 
राइट एंगल सेकेंड दैट इज स्ट्रेट एंगल स्ट्रेट एंगल थर्ड दैट इज एक्यूट एंगल फोर्थ दैट इज ऑप्टिज एंगल फिफ्थ दैट इज जीरो एंगल एंड सिक्स दैट इज रिफ्लेक्स एक्शन रिफ्लेक्स एक एंगल ओके एंड अनदर अनदर सेवेंथ दैट इज लाइन सेगमेंट लाइन सेगमेंट एट दैट इज पैरल लाइन्स पैरल लाइन्स एंड नाइन दैट इज रे सो फ्रॉम दिस नाइन any of the four will be asked okay students any of the four will be asked from this nine so you have to learn this much definitions only for question number 9 and the last question that is question number 10 word problems so from that which which can be asked so from word problems we know that in the chapter number okay i am see here in the chapter number 3 that was hcf and lcm see here from the formula in the question number 10 the last question which i am just writing over here so question number 10 so that will be asked according to the formula of hcf and lcm so we know that the formula lcm into hcf is equal to product of two number product of two number from that formula it will be asked and the divisibility test you have to also do the divisible divisibility test divisibility test of 4 5 and 6 so you can know that which number is divisible by 4 which number is divisible by 6 and which number is divisible by okay and this is also from the uh, hcf and lcm chapter and see here i am just giving you some of the hint so here it is given uh from excel example you can see from example uh 19 20 21 22 23 24 so if you will just do of this question example number 19 2 22 23 24 of the chapter uh, which is given on the page number 49 so if you will do this 19 to 23 then you will know to solve these word problems okay students and uh, it can be not asked from that example only another can be asked if you will know this example then you will know that 
this sums also in your exam okay students now here we have completed the paper pattern okay we will meet in the next video okay bye students our next video will be posted when when our paper is of science before that day science when is the science paper before that day it will be posted okay students bye students we'll meet in the next video